Hey guys, welcome in. Today we're going to be talking about something that I use on stream, something that you can add to your stream to increase interactivity, add a new element of creativity, and really just up the game and bring more potential to what you're able to do live for the people that come to hang out with you. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, my name is Precision. You can come hang out with me any night at twitch.tv slash precision. If you want to come see what we're talking about live in action, we're there almost every night shiny hunting a Pokemon. If you don't know what that is, more in a second. Please subscribe to me here on YouTube if you like the content and want to see some more in the future. Uh, please hit the little bell to know where things go live. And please hit the thumbs up. Leave a like if you think this video is helpful in the end. So yes, if you haven't figured it out by now, what I'm talking about is adding a counter to your stream. Now for me, I'm a shiny hunter. We do this in Pokemon. You run around in grass and, and there's a chance that the Pokemon you encounter will be colored differently than the standard Pokemon. So for my streams, what a counter does is it allows me to keep track of every encounter leading up to the shiny Pokemon. This allows me to kind of stay grounded in reality. You know, the, uh, you know, the little top, the thing that they have in Inception, whenever it stops spinning, he knows that he's awake. Whenever I can look at my counter and see where I'm at, I know that I'm just being insane and and there's really no other reason. Anyway, moving on. Ways you can use your counter are unlimited. It's a counter, dude. Come on. You can count deaths. You can count achievements. You can count drinks. Be that creative guy for yourself. I'm here to show you how to use the counter. It's so easy. How to use multiple counters. It's so easy. So first things first, you want to head to the website for the counter. I have the link down in the description. It's a GitHub download. Um, you want to head to it. The counter is by a guy named Kalijin. Ka Kaljin, Kal I'll put it up on the screen. Anyway, you'll go to the website. You'll see all the different version numbers. You can run any of them. I'm going to say the best luck I've had, especially for multiple counters, is going to be the newest version, the 4.0.0.9. For that, if I would try to run three counters, I would get frequent crashes and, you know, it would just be a whole mess. So I would definitely say get that 4.0.0.9 version number of the counter. We're gonna run the executable that you'll see next to the version number and then just like any download it'll be added to your apps and your PC and you can search your toolbar you can see it has where I've set where I have it it's got the app already there it's a little black and white square it says DCSB you can just search DCSB and it'll come up it's very simple to do so next up whenever the counter actually comes up you'll see I have here a whole bunch of different counters going on for my hunts personally so you can right click on a counter and it'll have give you the option to edit edit will allow you to change the increments that the counter goes up by each time you press the hot key uh, I have these set for two as you can see and then you'll also see a file like a, like a browse like you'd see when you're uploading an image like a profile picture like you'll see the browse all right that's actually going to be what connects this counter to your stream it's very important you'll want to go to your desktop i'll show you in a second you want to go to your desktop add a text file and select that text file to this to the counter that you're specifically working with and it'll write to that file as you count up and you'll just see how that works here in a second so once i've edited a counter and selected the text file that i'm going to be writing it to you can go up to the settings part of the counter and it will allow you to set your hotkeys for this first counter you just want to press you know whichever keys you're working with there's a whole bunch of other things you can mess with i've never messed with any of them and then the most important thing is once you've set those hotkeys, you can do it by clicking the little dots next to the line and then just pressing the button on your keyboard and that's how it sets. But once you've actually set these hotkeys and you go back to your counter, you want to make sure to click on the, the actual count again, your zero or wherever you're starting from to make sure that the program knows that's the one you are working with. Otherwise, it'll just like not do anything. You need to, it basically activates that cell. As you can see, it's very important to activate the cell because if I accidentally click on another one, uh, I can make the counter work that counter and it will just throw everything off for a little bit. So that's not good. But this also poses the question, wait a minute, how do you run multiple counters? If you could set one set of hotkeys and you have to activate one counter, how do I do this without going back and forth between my counters? The answer is very simple you open a second instance of the program. So you go down to your taskbar at the bottom of the PC and you right click it and you just click DCSB once again and you'll open up a second window. You wanna go ahead and set that counter up like we did the last one. Set your increments, select the file to attach it to. 
bind two different sets of keys as you can see i am setting the plus and the minus key to this counter so in the first counter we have the up down key and in this counter we have the plus minus keys and now we can check out how the counters work independently of each other once i activate that second column i can uh increase the count and the count on the first counter stays the same because i'm not using the up down keys i'm using my new set plus minus keys and this is where things get real tricky we're gonna open a third counter now i've never tried four i'm you might be able to do it but i've never seen a need for more than three go wild but yeah the concept is the same with the third counter you just select your file set your increments go to your settings set your hot keys for this one i like to use the brackets they're directly below the plus minus keys that's what you'll see the oem6 and the oem4 that's what uh this program maps those as but if you don't know how to set up these counters to begin with, let me go ahead and run you through how to set up the text document, which is what you set up as your source in OBS whenever you actually go to stream with this new tool. On the desktop of your PC, right click and go to new, go to text file, and then just name it whatever you want to name it. New counter, I think that's what I'm going to name this one here, new counter. And you don't have to do anything with the document, just leave it there, just create it. That's all you have to do. Go back to your counter, right click on the counter you're going to be using, like the actual row, and go to the browse feature for the file select and select that new file that you just created. All right, so now I'll show you how all of this comes together and works inside of your OBS broadcasting software. I use OBS. I'm gonna show you how this works in Streamlabs and show you how it can work in any of them. I'm sure it works in Stream Elements. If that's what you use, it'll be basically the same thing, I'm sure. So down there in your sources, you wanna go to the add button and go ahead and select a text source. Select to add the new source, go to your files and go to the document that you just created and linked to the counter, that easy. Just create a text source. Once that is done, you can go ahead and set your fonts, your you know your thickness, the color, any of that. You can mess with it here, and then it'll come into your OBS screen as like an actual number. Like it just it's just there. If you've never counted anything before, you'll see a zero. Go ahead and play with it. Use up, use down, use plus, use minus, whatever you have set. You'll see the number change as you move. There's a slight delay, but it's just the programs working with each other. But it's just like anything you would have in OBS. You can increase the size, decrease the size, move it around. I set mine in nice little backdrops to have the image look good and make it seem like a part of my layout and not just something that's there. Uh, to set the multiple counters, you'll just set multiple text files. It's that easy. And you'll just choose the documents that each counter has been set to. And there you have it, guys. It's basically as easy as one, two, three. You go to the website, download your counter, you set your counter up, rinse, repeat on the setup, go to your OBS, add that text file, and you are set up to go. Like I said, making it look nice is gonna take a little bit of time. You can you can play with it, add your own images, move it around, do whatever you want, but there's really nothing else to it. That's how I get my counters working. That's how I get all of my counters working. If you thought this was helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you're gonna plan on using your counter down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one.